Hi guys and welcome to Strength Universe. Today we take a look at a comparison between the 7 times Mr. Olympia and 5 times Mr. Universe Arnold Schwarzenegger and the 8 times Mr. Olympia and possibly the world's strongest bodybuilder of all time, Ronnie Coleman. And while this may seem like a strange comparison, both athletes did powerlifting early in their careers and both were the best bodybuilders of their eras. I hope to provide some correlation between Arnold and Ronnie's relative strength based on the eras in which they trained by comparing their best lifts to the world record from that time period. And the comparison starts with the bench press and unfortunately Arnold has never done a heavy bench press on video as he normally used multiple variations of supersets with an emphasis on the pump and mind muscle connection. But I thought it'd be worth using this footage in order to compare his form and range of motion with that of Ronnie Coleman who is pressing 227 kilograms or 500 pounds. Other than Arnold using a wider grip than Ronnie, both exhibited a very similar range of motion. Arnold's best official bench press was set at the 1968 German Powerlifting Championships when he was 20 years old and recorded a lift of 200 kilograms or 440 pounds. Several years later, he did a best gym lift of 227 kilograms or 500 pounds. While technically Ronnie Coleman takes the win by achieving four repetitions with the same weight that Arnold did for a single, if we consider the different eras in which these lifts were completed, the outcome may appear different. And to do this, I'll be comparing Arnold and Ronnie's maximum bench press with the bench press world record from that era. And Ronnie's four and aided repetitions of 500 pounds calculates to give a theoretical one rep max of 247 kilograms or 545.5 pounds. Arnold's best claimed bench press of 227 kilograms or 500 pounds was set around 1975, and the world record at this time was held by Don Reinhold at a weight of 275.5 kilograms or 607 pounds, which is a 21.4% higher weight than Arnold's best. Ronnie's bench press was done around the year 2000 and the world record at that time was held by James Henderson at a weight of 322.5 kilograms or 711 pounds, which is 30.3% higher than Ronnie's best theoretical bench press. Next up is the competition deadlift and we start with Ronnie Carmen who set his best deadlift at the Texas Deadlift Classic in January 1994 where he was competing at a body weight of 275.5 pounds and achieved the best deadlift of 330 kilograms or 727.5 pounds. Arnold's best official competition deadlift was achieved at the 1968 German Powerlifting Championships where he pulled 310 kilograms or 683 pounds. Later, Arnold claimed to have a best gym deadlift of 322 kilograms or 710 pounds. Again, technically, Ronnie takes the win on the competition deadlift by pulling a higher weight. But to better understand these lifts, we will compare them to the world records from the same eras. And at the time when Arnold achieved his best raw deadlift, the world record was held by Canadian Ben Coates at a weight of 341 kilograms or 752 pounds, which is a 10.1% higher weight than Arnold's best official deadlift. And the world record when Ronnie achieved his best raw deadlift was held by Gary Heisey at a weight of 419.6 kilograms or 925 pounds, which is a 27.1% greater weight than Ronnie's best deadlift. Next up is a dumbbell fly and here Arnold is using a weight of 29 kilograms or 65 pounds and Ronnie is using 54 kilograms or 120 pounds and the form demonstrated here couldn't be more different with Arnold using a deep stretch at the bottom and maintaining tension on the muscle throughout the movement compared to Ronnie who seems to be doing a hybrid between a fly on the eccentric and a press on the concentric phase The win on the dumbbell fly goes to Ronnie Coleman who uses a greater weight for more repetitions. But I'd like you guys to leave a comment below letting me know how you think the difference in form used by Arnold and Ronnie affects the amount of weight being utilised on this exercise. 
the penultimate comparison is a squat, starting with Ronnie's infamous 363kg or 800lb squat for a double. But this lift was done with a squat suit and knee wraps that can easily add 100 pounds to the lift. Arnold was never known for his squat, especially when compared to his other lifts, and following a knee injury and subsequent surgery, he rarely performed the exercise conventionally after 1973. His best official squat was again set at the 1968 German Powerlifting Championship, when he achieved a weight of 215kg or 474 pounds and later on he claimed the best gym lift of 247 kilograms or 545 pounds. Even when taking into account Ronnie's use of a squat suit and knee wraps, the additional 116 kilograms or 255 pounds that he managed means he takes another victory over the Austrian Oak. The final comparison is a T-bar row, and here Arnold is pulling 102 kilograms or 225 pounds with a full extension and near perfect form while Ronnie is pulling 247 kilograms or 540 pounds, but he's doing a corner row which limits the extension, and it's easy to see that momentum is playing a big role in the lift. On paper, the corner row and T-bar row are very similar exercises, but given the way they're being executed by Arnold and Ronnie, they're so different that they're almost incomparable. But taking into account the amount of weight being used by Ronnie, I believe he should probably take the win. I think there's little doubt that Ronnie's stronger in absolute terms, but I'd be really interested to hear your opinions about who you think was stronger in the bench press and deadlift when taking the different eras into account, and also whose physique you preferred. I've left credits and social media links in the description below, so please check those out and give them a follow. And finally, if you enjoyed the video, please help support my channel by hitting like, sharing the video, and subscribing. Thank you.